I happen to have two email addresses, one on Google Mail and one on Yahoo. When I opened my YouTube account, it was just before YouTube was acquired by Google, and I set it up with my Yahoo address. I have since found some tolerable annoyance in YouTube's occasional pestering messages to coax me into linking my account on YouTube to my account on Google. I find no reason why YouTube can't content itself to work just fine with whatever email I give it. Can someone explain this to me, please? Recently, I made the mistake of signing into YouTube while my Google email was open in a different window. While I was online, YouTube switched to the other email address without asking my permission. They managed to obtain this information without me inputting it, and now I, conveniently, don't have the option to change it back. When I try, I get the message that since the email on file is a Google account, I don't have the option to change it at this time. Apparently, if at some future date it ceases to be a Google e account on file, I may have that option. If it changes again without my input. If it is changed again by YouTube. If YouTube decides to allow me to change it, I will have that option. Otherwise, I'm out of luck. If it changes, then I'll be free to change it, but as long as it doesn't change, I can't change it. Whose job is it at YouTube to inform people that once the email address on file is a Gmail address, you're not free to change it? What's more, now I'm no longer free to sign in with my YouTube password. I have to sign in with my Gmail password instead. They say by way of explanation, quote, phasing out classic YouTube password support for others linked to a Google account, unquote. I see. So if I want to retain classic YouTube password support, all I have to do is link my YouTube account back to my Yahoo account. But of course YouTube won't let me do that. So basically even my password is no longer my choice. I no longer have the option to sign in to two different sites with two different passwords. I predict that at this point someone is asking, what's the big deal? Good question. Let's ask them. What's the big deal? What email address I want to link my account to? If it shouldn't be a big deal to me, why is it a big deal to them? Why is it any kind of deal to them? What difference does it make to them? Why is it even worth their notice? Someone else, no doubt, is thinking, well, Google and YouTube are private organizations. If they want to run their site this way, that's up to them. I would agree, except for one thing. YouTube has an effective monopoly on this particular market. People campaigning for public office don't set up channels on live video, mega video, Vimeo, or Crackle. They set them up here. Why? Because here is where they get noticed. I recently read a few things about population control techniques in 1950s China. I don't know if this practice is still in effect, but then, one such technique was to require each member of the populace to keep a diary to be submitted for regular review by a party member. One whose diary contained even the slightest bourgeois sentiment invited severe punishment, and so each person got into the habit of avoiding such sentiment in their writings. One can only live a lie so long before one must choose between believing it oneself and going insane. So of course for the Chinese population, this habit of avoiding such sentiment in their writings translated into the same habit in their thoughts. Thought patrol is a form of tyranny. Freedom depends on freedom of thought. Freedom of thought depends on privacy of thought, the freedom to decide for oneself which of one's thoughts other parties have access to. Now as I say, I had not input this information. It causes me concern to contemplate how YouTube managed to obtain it. What program did they upload to my computer without my permission that gave them this information? What other programs have they uploaded? What hitchhikers do I have on my computer? What other information have they obtained? If I put my thoughts into a creative effort on my computer, do I get any measure of certainty about whether YouTube has access to that? What remains of my privacy? What remains of yours? Freedom nowadays is lost less often through raw force and more through gradual erosion. It is lost a piece at a time. That's why this is a big deal.